I know a number of people are curious to see what the Motorola Droid Biotic Ice Cream Sandwich leak looks like when it's running. So I decided to make a video walkthrough sort of screenshot tour here of a running leak on the Droid Bionic. So without further ado, we'll start it up here. And as you can see, it's the default ice cream sandwich lock screen. And one thing that you're going to notice a lot of is that Motorola did not use their Motorola Blur software very much in this particular release. Uh, you can see there's a couple changes up here, the one-off uh, volume button that turns it from uh, mute to having volume. And you can also see down at the bottom they added the emergency call and emergency contact buttons, which is actually pretty nice. Um, but other than that, it's mostly the default ice cream sandwich style, which is nice because I did not particularly enjoy Motorola's Blur software. So here's the home screen. You can see I have my applications and widgets here. Um, the calendar widget is a little bit styled with the Motorola uh, Blur sort of theme to it. But other than that, most of the software throughout here um, does not have much of an overlay to it. You can see the default menus, uh, app drawer, all that keeps most of the default ice cream sandwich style. So going into the smoothness of the operating system, it seems extremely smooth, especially for a, a leaked version. Um, I've been running this for about a week now, and I haven't had a single data drop the entire time. It's handled data handoffs very nicely from 4G to 3G to Wi-Fi, uh, no data, back and forth, that kind of stuff, um, all excellently. Um, battery life has been very good. I, de I definitely get at least a day's charge, if not a day and a half of charge on this, which is um, very unexpected. Um, another thing that's really nice is with the ice cream sandwich operating system, you can freeze applications by default within ice cream sandwich, even without rooting your phone. So all of the um, pre-installed crapware that Verizon installs on your phone, you can disable that very easily by holding down the application and dragging it to more options. Go to app info. You'll notice there's a button right here that says uh, after you uninstall updates it'll say uh, disable application and you can click that and it'll completely remove the application from your app drawer. It still exists on the device taking up a little bit of space but it won't run it start up. It won't be running in the background using resources that kind of stuff. So this, uh, this leak has been extremely smooth, extremely fast uh, and I'm definitely really liking the style of it. Um, the widgets are all there, all pretty nice. Um, yeah, bookmarks widgets, calendar widgets, Gmail widgets. The map software is in the default um, ice cream sandwich style as well. You'll get the, the latest update of maps. You can do searches, navigation, all that sort of stuff. Uh, you can see here's the power bar, and you'll also notice that there's a smart actions here. Now, smart actions is something that's included on this leak that's not included in most of the other ROMs or, or software operating systems, that kind of thing. And this appears to be a Motorola uh, software, so we're going to head and open that up. And what it is is sort of a version of Tasker, but in my opinion, it's it's much simpler and much easier to use, and it allows you to set different actions based on conditions. So for example, I have here a charging reminder. If my battery is less than a certain percentage, if it's nighttime between a certain hour of day, uh, battery is less than 50% and I'm at my apartment, then it's going to perform a particular action, which is set a reminder that tells me don't forget to charge. Um, we also have A bunch of other different smart actions. You can also include samples here. Um, there's ones for driving, charging reminders like I had. There's ones for sleep that'll turn off your ringer and your data. And you can add all sorts of custom conditions to it, which is really nice uh, because you can have it do things such as disable data uh, and your ringer, except when you know a certain contact is trying to contact you, then turn your ringer on to uh, full volume. So these are really nice uh, little additions to the operating system that Motorola included here. 
As far as crapware, um, I've disabled most of it, so you're not going to see that in my app drawer, but um, there's not a terrible amount, about the same amount that came on the gingerbread original version uh, of the Droid Bionic. But everything has been working extremely well. I haven't had any issues. Camera works, video works, Bluetooth works, Wi-Fi works, um, headset volume, everything's perfect. So there's none of the issues that plague some of the, the ROMs and some of the other uh, third-party operating systems that have been released for the Droid Bionic. So this looks like the real deal. And if you're curious as to uh, any other the functionality or features of the operating system, let me know. And I'll be sure to let you know about it in the comments. Uh, also, here's a quick view of the system settings. Um, so you can see it looks a little bit different than the default ice cream sandwich uh, Motorola added their custom icons here. Uh, but other than that, it's extremely true to the original ice cream sandwich style, which is really nice, and I like that. So that is ice cream sandwich leak running on the Droid Bionic. Um, if I'm correct, newer leaks have been released since this one, but um, this one has been running smooth, so I haven't bothered to flash that, and as far as I've been reading on the internet, nothing has changed in those leaks either. So that is this video. Let me know if you have any questions.